Are you tired of paying a monthly subscription fee for Photoshop and you're looking for a free alternative? Then you've come to the right place. The answer to all your problems lies in only and only one software and the name of that software is GIMP. I'm Kush Sharma. I will be your instructor for this crash course on GIMP. We'll be starting off things by first of all downloading and installing GIMP according to the operating system that you have. Once that's in place and we do open up GIMP, you're going to realize it can look a bit intimidating. So therefore, we will start the first section by just understanding the workspace a bit. What you'll see is that it's very similar to Photoshop because again, it's a layer based software. You'll also spend some time in learning some important shortcuts and functions that will just help you move around and get a feel of editing in GIMP. Once you start to get warmed up, we'll be taking on our first edit where you'll be learning about some basic color and exposure correction functions that GIMP offers and how we can use them. This will look very familiar to you if you have used Photoshop because even the names of these tools and functions are very similar. The Curves tool, the Levels tool, the Hue Saturation tool, the Color Balance tool. All these tools are not similar in just the name. They also function in a very similar way. Therefore, if you're making this transition from Photoshop to GIMP, it's actually not that difficult at all. In this edit, we'll also be seeing how to correct some minor imperfections and perform some basic retouching using again a very familiar sounding tool called the Clone Stamp tool, which is also available in GIMP. Now, one of the things that GIMP cannot do, which Photoshop can, is open raw images. But here also we've got a hack because by using a third-party plugin, we will be able to work with raw images also. Next, we'll be spending some time about learning some advanced color correction techniques which will especially be very helpful in portraits and getting the right and the most accurate colors in the skin tones. Here you'll also be learning about some of the basic retouching tools that you can use to remove blemishes. But we'll not just stop there because one of the most popular techniques to get a smooth skin in the portraits is frequency separation, which again, a lot of people think is only restricted to Photoshop, but we'll actually be pleasantly surprised to find out that not only is it possible in GIMP, but it's actually much more convenient and faster than in Photoshop. Right about this point inside the course, you would have started to get a real grip on using GIMP. But we won't stop there because the next thing that a lot of photographers need to know is how to make accurate selections so that you can work on some localized parts in the image. Making selections is, to be frank, not something that GIMP succeeds at, but here also we will couple it with a third-party software that will really help us in making accurate selections and then incorporate GIMP in our workflow to get some really amazing final results which will allow you to do things like remove the background even in challenging selections around the hair in complex areas where the edges are soft it will also help you in changing the background color and so many other things. One of the most important concepts in editing is of course layer masking and this is also something that is in my opinion much better in GIMP than in Photoshop so we'll be learning about the concept of layer masking, how to apply different types of layer masks and how all this can be used to really localize your editing so that you can only target areas that you want to change and not impact the entire image. Now there are a lot of courses on GIMP but what makes this course very special and unique is that this has been specially created by taking into account the issues that photographers face when they are editing their shots. Also, this is a crash course, so you learn everything that is essential in the fastest amount of time. For photographers, by a photographer. If you like the sound of that, don't wait anymore. Sign up right now and we will get started straight away.